Bless up, bless up, my viewers, and my sub. Welcome back to another upload. So, right now, with no further ado, continue to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts in your comments down below in the comment section. So, this is now another update. Today, Friday's update, and the whole Clansman gang trial. Ex gangster turned state witness could face criminal charges, say cops. A lead police investigator has disclosed that there is a possibility that criminal charges could be laid against the prosecution's second witness in the trial of the alleged members of the Wandan faction of the Klangsman gang. This after presiding judge Chief Justice Brian Sykes questioned whether the Jamaica Constable Force JCF as a policy of not charging former gang members who turn state witness. The question was posed by Sykes to the police detective on Friday at the trial of the 33 alleged gang members of the Spanish Town St. Catherine base gang in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston. On Thursday, the policeman who was being cross-examined indicated that the prosecution's second witness, despite being a former member of the Wandan faction of the Klansman gang was not charged as he had not been a suspect in any of the alleged crimes committed by the criminal network. However, he said the investigation were ongoing into the self-styled Dan's role in the gang. But on Friday, Sykes wanted to know why the former gangster was not charged, even after he told law enforcers about several incidents of criminality in which he participated. In response, the police officer said the decision was made not to treat the former gangster as a defendant but as a civilian witness instead. The policeman who was introduced to members of the gang by the prosecution's second witness as his uncle said if he had charged the second witness then he might have not cooperated in the police probe or decided to be a witness. Citing the anti-gang legislation, the officer said it allowed for a statement to be collected in its best form from a former participant of a criminal organization. This, according to the officer, was the best option to bring down the one done fraction of the Klangsman gang. It was at that point that Sykes inquired about whether charging an ex-gangster who becomes a state witness was a JCF policy directive responding to an inquiry the lawman should have. He could only speak to the approach used in the current gang case in which it was an investigator. Sykes further pressed the policeman by asking whether the prosecution's second witness would ever be charged relative to the incident in the case. The lawman then stated that there was a possibility that the witness could be charged as investigations were ongoing into the case. An additional the officer said the witness was not aware that he faced possibility of being charged during cross-examination by defendant lawyer Dennis Inson on Thursday. The prosecution officer, when press, was forced to admit that the witness was still being probed for his alleged involvement in the criminal act of the gang. 
is representing accused Michael Whitley. Earlier, the officer had told Inson that the initial investigation had been done into the self-styled Dan Turn witness. After he gave information to the police, the probe, according to the police witness involved, checks crossed the St. Catherine North Police Division to ascertain whether the gangster was of interest to the police. Based on those inquiries, the police detective said the gangster did not surface as a suspect in the alleged incident carried out by the gang. The one dan faction of the Klansman gang is allegedly led by Andre Blackman Bryan who along with 31 other men and a woman are being tried in the Home Circuit Court under the Criminal Justice Suppression Criminal Organization Act 2014 better known as the Anti-Gang Legislation and an indictment with 25 counts. They have been charged with multiple offenses including being a part of a criminal organization, illegal possession of a firearm, illegal possession of ammunition, facilitated and conspiracy, and facilitating arson. The offenses were allegedly committed between January the 1st, 2015 and June the 30th, 2019 in St. Catherine. The trial is to resume on Monday. Some of you as a mess up the trial is to kick off again this coming Monday where we will be finding out if the state witness would be charged or not. But until then, let us see. Motorists warn about careless driving beyond curfew hours. Motorists are urged to abide by the Road Traffic Act beyond curfew hours, said Minister of Transport and Mining, Robert Montague. I want to make the appeal because during the pandemic, we are experiencing another pandemic of on, on the road so far. Some 428 Jamaicans have died on our road since the start of the year. And strongly, of that amount, 33% have died after curfew hours. He noted Montague was speaking at a recent and over ceremony for 100 tablets donation by the Toll Authority of Jamaica to students from rural school. He further noted that the statistics gathered by the ministry indicate that some motorists have been more recklessly because of the imposed curfew hours which is between 9 to 5 a.m. daily. The, student, the studies are telling us that people feel that after curfew hours they can drive a little faster. They tend to drink more and experience on the road, then end up in a fatal crash. So we are appealing to person, if you are involved and somebody is speeding, be brave and ask them to slow down. He advised against the background, Montague noted that the ministry will be implementing a campaign to alert motorists about the road safety during the Christmas season. We have to be mindful, especially getting into the Christmas season, so that people don't get too relaxed at the end of the day. Personal responsibility for your own life is what important, he said. So continue to like, share and subscribe guys. Leave your thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section. And let us know what you think of us. So we have been warning persons day out and day in. To take time on the road them man. We know say yeah the road them sweet and all of them little things. But you can't take time on the road more while man. You don't have to go so fast. So you don't have to lose control of the vehicle. You don't have to end up on losing your life. So now stick time on the road man. Continue to like, share and subscribe. Bless up.